we had to stop at the store and pick up our skid loader and some seed and we also have to fill our fertilizer truck up with some fertilizer because there's a lot of stuff that we got to do today boys so we need to get this seed unloaded and figure out where to put it because i have no idea where to put it got the john deere dealership guys out here working on some stuff for us today they are going to be fixing not really fixing they're going to be servicing the planter because planting season is literally right around the corner gotta put the bobcat somewhere i don't know where we're gonna put it well the the bucket at least i think for now we're just gonna leave it right there and uh let's unload some seed i'm gonna try something and see if it will work we're gonna get both these pallets or we're gonna get one of these pallets and we are going to stack it on top of the other one just to see how it works. Because I know this skid loader can handle it. Got one of these bad boys here. Let's get the other one. Stack this. And hopefully this works out how I think it will. Looking good so far. We're going to tilt it this way. Lift it just a little bit. Back it off. lower it down and let's put these bad boys somewhere where uh, nothing will happen to them and we're just gonna drop them off right there perfect and we're just gonna leave the skid loader right there as well we're gonna go inside the office and grab it the keys for the mac because they should be in this top drawer right here mac Alright, so we gotta go to the store and pick up some fertilizer to fill this truck up with because uh, we are gonna be plant, we are gonna be fertilizing Grimm's Field today and hopefully gonna be starting on our field soon with planting. Luckily the guy from John Deere is here so we don't gotta worry about closing anything up because there's somebody here, and we actually have another person here as well. Rolling up to the John Deere dealership right now, and uh, seed thing, the fertilizer, is right there. So we are going to tell them to load us up. That was actually a lot more expensive than I thought it was. That was $13,000 to fill up this truck. $13,000 to fill this thing up. This better last us the whole season or else uh, this is going to be a big issue. We're on back to the farm right now and I've made up my mind that we are just going to go and get the fertilizer truck hooked up to the liquid sprayer thingy and we are just going to spray Grimm's Field right now because it's gonna be super quick turn this bad boy on and hopefully we don't need to move anything to get this thing out of here I think we'll be fine yep we are good get all these hoses connected and uh, let's turn this generator on real quick the sprayer is full got everything disconnected so really quick we are gonna go put this away we got the truck put away and now it's time to go spray the field so this isn't gonna take us long at all probably like I guarantee you guys it's literally gonna take us 20 minutes max to get this done because of how big the sprayer is and how small the field is so i think for this farm we're literally just gonna use that shed most likely for um just storage if we need it that's probably all we're gonna use it for all right let's unfold this bad boy 
Got the wings folding out. So we are definitely going to be able to get this field done super quick because they're going to have another row pop out. I'm pretty sure. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. There's not going to be another row. Yeah. Okay. So there's only one row that comes out like this. So probably two to three passes. I guarantee you is what we will have of this field and then it will most likely be done turn this bad boy on and let's go I think for this field that we are gonna get a small like pull behind sprayer because it kind of sucks having this big huge sprayer especially with the fence line how it is that's uh, one thing that i'm gonna do is call up the dealership and just see if we can get a small little sprayer because this sprayer i think in my opinion is a little too overkill for this field because of how small it is but it's okay because it actually doesn't get the stuff done a lot quicker than what a smaller one would do so I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm not complaining so we are done a boys um, hopefully we find something at the dealership because I really don't want to use this big behemoth to do stuff anymore especially on a field this small Because if that happens, then we will definitely use that shed. And we will probably be buying a newer tractor. Probably thinking like a John Deere 6M or something. Something kind of small, but something that will be able to handle what we need around that little farm. So I got to make sure that we don't hit any cars or anything like that. And we also have to turn it really wide get into our driveway so this car is gonna completely obliterate us like that lovely just what the sprayer needs drive it in and the John Deere guy should have probably be done up by now um, so we'll get all that stuff cleaned up and uh, we got to get ready for planting season boys Now getting this thing is going to probably be a little bit of a challenge because of those rear wheels turning. So we're going to kind of have to back this in somewhat at like an awkward angle like this and then crank it over like this. It's actually not that bad getting it back in here. And we should be good right there. Gonna close up this door, fold up the trailer on the truck here, and uh, we are gonna go to that guy's house and pick up that tractor. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with friends if you enjoyed, if you're interested in getting a gaming computer. Please click a link in the description below this video. Apex Gaming PCs, absolutely fantastic computers. And if you guys use code SQUAD, S Q U A D, you guys can get 10% off. Yes, you heard that correctly, 10% off. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yee. Yeah.